Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a multi-column drop-down menu in your Squarespace website. There's one simple line of code that we'll use to make this magic happen and two other lines of code that you can use to customize it even more. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to create this in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and I have a drop down menu with a lot of different links in it. Let's go ahead and turn this into a two column menu and customize it with a little bit of CSS. I'm going to select website, then website tools, and then custom CSS. And this is where I'll paste the code that's underneath the video. Now let's take a look at this drop down and I'll paste the code into my custom CSS. And now we have two columns of links inside the drop down menu. If you change this value two to maybe three, or five or four, you'll see the number of columns change automatically. Personally, I think two is perfect for the amount of links that I have in my drop down menu, so I'm going to leave it there. The next line of code I wanted to share with you will change the distance between these two columns, and that line is column gap. If we set this to 100 pixels, for example, we'll get a lot of space between the two links. You can also change it to maybe 30 pixels, something that really suits the style for what you're designing here. And the last line of code I wanted to share with you is known as column rule. And this will actually add a border between our two columns here. This works very similar to a border code where I have the width of the line, the type of the line, and the color specified here. And now I've said column rule 3px solid red. And we get a red line between both of the columns of links. Now, again, we can change any of these values, maybe 5px, maybe we want it to be dotted, spelled correctly, there we go, and maybe we want to go for blue dots instead of red dots. You've got a lot of different options there. Column rule works almost exactly the same as a border code, and it'll place that line between your two columns of links. However you've modified your drop-down menu, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to create that multi-column effect in Squarespace, and you'll find links to related videos if you want to learn even more about how to make Squarespace uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel because I share a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.